Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to Julia Lives and today I'm going to give you a review of the best things to do in New Orleans. The Big Easy, you can call it NOLA if you want to call it that, just don't call it New Orleans. No one likes that. So, so far I found that the people are really nice and one woman that I met who owns a t-shirt shop right down the street from Marie Laveau's House of Voodoo said it's one of these places where you either really like it or you really don't. So. Um, I'll show you the things that I found that I enjoyed doing, but before we do that, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button if you like this video, or drop me a comment if you want to see something so different. So we're just on the outside of Jackson Square here, right across from Cafe Du Monde. You can hear the music playing there. Not a lot going on in here yet, but let's take a look inside the square. It looks like some people are starting to set up in there. and. Um, getting ready to play music and do art and give psychic readings. Right here is the interior of Jackson Square. Again, there's not a lot going on here right now. They were pretty clear on our ghost walking tour that New Orleans is open for business, but there's just not a lot of activity here yet. I'll probably check back sometime in later in the afternoon, like maybe around three o'clock and show you the difference because it's only like 10 a.m. here. So, it could certainly pick up, but it's very pretty. I mean, you could come down and if you wanted to take some laps and just run in here, that would be kind of a nice thing to do. The um, landscaping is really pretty and there's a lot, there are a lot of historic sites around here too. So if you wanted to just walk around the area, there really is, um, a lot to see here. We have right over here, we've got the fountain, we'll show you that up close. And let's look at the welcome sign here. Here's some of the history of Jackson Square. It's only open until 6 p.m. I didn't realize that, so, so that you know it's 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. here. And I'll take you around and you can look at the monument in the middle of the square here. Look at all these buds that have fallen. Isn't that beautiful? There are four different entrances, so it's easy to access. And here we go to the monument of Andrew Jackson here, right in the center of the square. There are signs posted to stay six feet apart. And there are signs in general around New Orleans asking you to mask. And I, when I was on the tour, you can hear the cathedral ringing. Couldn't have planned that better. So you can see it's just 10 a.m. here. So here we go.
of other great things to eat here in New Orleans from gumbo to pecan pie and plenty of candy all around. You won't, you could throw a stone and hit food in New Orleans, especially on Bourbon Street. Now, right across from Jackson Square is um, where you can get on the ferry for the steamboat. So it's, you can really take in a lot just on foot. The steamboat was closed while I was there, but that's the ticketing area. And that's a statue located right outside of the entrance. And it's also across the street from some of the really nice high-end shopping, which I'll show you next. So here's a glimpse of Marie Laveau's, and this is really the shopping on Bourbon Street, where you can get more local and support local businesses here, which is always a great idea whenever you visit. So I just got lured into this place for soap, and the next thing you know, they were putting some kind of gel all over my crow's feet that feels like glue, then blowing it with the fan, it burned. And this woman is insistent that this is the miracle cure. She also told me that if I didn't start using it on my hooded eyelids, I would need surgery <laughs> for the low price of, I think it was $399. So beware when you come down here, when they start offering soap, it's just a hook to get you into a chair. So after we uh, leave Bourbon Street here and some of the shopping there, let's head over to the Canal Place shops. It's a huge indoor, multi-level mall that features some really high-end shopping and parking is not free. I'll talk to you about that in just a minute. There's a food court and it's located near some really nice properties as well if you wanted to stay over in that area. It is within walking distance to Bourbon Street but it is several blocks so just to be aware of that. Place. I'll show you inside the high-end shopping that's available here. Be aware parking is not free. You can have it validated for a $20 purchase, but again, it's still not free if you do that. It's, I think, $4 an hour versus $8 an hour. Behind you, you'll see several hotels. It's a few blocks from the French Quarter, so if you stay over here, you're going to be walking. So if you're here to see Bourbon Street, I probably would stay closer to Bourbon Street, um, but inside you'll find a lot of high-end shops. It doesn't open until 11 now with COVID-19, so um, be aware of that too because you're paying for parking while it's closed, but again, it's a great place to come and shop. It is walkable from the French Quarter. If you wanted to walk here, you certainly could do that. The Westin is attached to Canal Place, so if you stay at the West End, you can just walk right downstairs and go shopping.
beware here on the sales tax because not only do you pay the state sales tax, but you also pay the city and the French Quarter. So you're paying almost 10% here in sales tax. Um, at my home state, it's 6%. So be aware of that. Like if you go into Louis Vuitton or somewhere where you're gonna be making a big purchase, you may end up spending quite a bit more money on it if you buy it down here.